Congratulations to you, Derek. You know, I've known you a long time. We were just talking about that since the strike force right. days. I think this was one of the, if not the most impressive performance. You've come a long way since then, and now you've got a great team around you with Sanford MMA. Huge difference. How did it feel out there tonight? It felt amazing. Um, this sport will throw you in all types of loops, have you guessing yourself, second guessing yourself, unsure, you know, but all of my training and hard work and sacrifices have been validated from my past three fights, you know, ever since I made the switch down to Sanford MMA with Henry Hoof and the guys. I know there was a lot of sacrifice. You had to leave the family for four weeks this time around. Had to make this win extra sweet for you. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it was hard. You know, normally I'll go down to Florida for like a four or five week camp. I'll go two weeks, go home for two or three days and then come back for two more weeks, finish out. Um, this time I had to stay straight through just because the flights were all messed up and the whole COVID thing. So I wasn't able to go back and see my family. And it was just, you know, it was so hard. I had to FaceTime and just some sometimes you sit back and wonder if, you know, the time in life you can't get back. Is it all worth it? So. That was one of the struggles. have to imagine it's worth it right now. Uh, you know, you showed a lot of patience in that first round where often we see you kind of rush to your opponent. You were very calculated. Was that something that you've been working on in the gym? Yeah, it's funny because I'll, this camp, we got so many guys down at Sanford MMA. I'll go with like 145 pound dudes and they just piece me up the whole time. And like, you know, the small guys and, and they're probably thinking like, I'm whooping Derek. I'm over here like, I'm getting better. I'm getting better. Like I'm able to see their punches, you know, they're smaller, you know, so and Henry Hoof is like, just believe in this, do this, throw it. And, you know, just really trust in what we, what they, the system that they have down there. And it's just been really working out for me. And I'm so grateful. Well, let's talk about your opponent in this one. Uh, you know, he did catch you with a couple of kicks. Uh, how did he have you there a little bit? No, I, I mean, the, 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 kick, the, kick, the kicks registered, but it was like, oh, OK, you know, if, if that's all I have to worry about, you know, because I know he's been he has awesome high kicks. And, you know, I saw him doing spinning heel kicks and Tavares jab, lead leg, high kick, you know, so he's really big on those kicks. He get them up there effortlessly. So I know that was his big thing, you know, try to catch you with the high kicks, you know. So I was like, OK, to the body. That wasn't to the head. All right, we're good here, you know, making sure we slipping perfectly fine. So, you know, that was some, one of the things we worked, watched out for and yeah, we did, we did well with that. Most definitely. The takedowns were there for you tonight as well. That first round takedown, how much confidence it did, did that one give you? I uh, just want to fit them in, you know. Yeah. I, I like to You mixed it up. up tonight a lot. Yeah, you know, I like to fit them in. Um, I don't want to be one-dimensional. I just want to keep evolving, you know. And at age 36, it's a darn shame that I finally start, you know, pick putting together good fights and I still have my athletic and quickness you know but uh, I just keep getting better and better and, and learning how to take care of my body and train the proper way you know what 36 is not that old and when you can go out there and put on a performance like that at 36 <laughs> I'd say it's okay you know it speaking of the future here you know do you have a name uh, this division the top of the division is a little locked up but is there you know obviously you're up there now so oh know, yeah for, for sure you know uh Everybody was heralding or, or having Shabazzian as a fu future title challenger, yes. you know, and he was he was flashes of brilliant, you know, undefeated kid. I was a huge underdog, you know, so they were talking about him in the title talks, you know, so definitely, you know, I'm moving one step closer, you know, and we're going to take some time, enjoy this win. And then next week, for sure, we'll be talking to somebody. Um, I haven't been paying attention to too much MMA because I've really been focusing on my fight. I couldn't even log on my Facebook. I couldn't log on my Twitter, my Instagram at all this whole week because I knew, you know, everybody were like, you know, saying, oh, you're going to get knocked out. You're going to get slayed. So I just want to keep my focus. Well, now you can go look at that, right? <laughs> yeah, you look back and say, <laughs> with hey, a smile. all you people lost a lot of money messing with me. <laughs> I love it. Well, congratulations on a great win. Go enjoy your family. Thanks again. Thank you.